Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the PL300 exam preparation series where we are exploring the third learning path, visualize and analyze the data. In this video, we are going to talk about the topic, use the analyze feature, analyze in Excel feature, which is part of the section, create reports. So this was a topic that was purposely, purposely left out because this is something which is related to the Power BI service and has nothing to do with the Power BI desktop environment or creation of reports so let's go to the power bi service and see where we can find the option for analyze in excel so here i'm inside the power bi service and inside the workspace that we created in one of the previous videos and one of the inherent feature of power bi is its direct integration with excel so a lot of people who transition from excel to power bi they always have this urge or they always have this requirement to go back to Excel and, anal and analyze some of the stuff in Excel. So the Power BI service gives you this uh, opportunity to actually uh, do that inside of Excel. And if you go in either of the data set or uh, in your report, you can, uh, you can access the analyze in Excel feature. So let me just first show you how you can do it in the data set. So in the data set, I have just opened my data set. And here, if you can see that in the top options, there is this option of analyze in Excel. So if I just click uh, uh, before I actually click here, I, you can see that you, uh, you can see it in the tool tab that to use Excel, analyze in Excel, request the build information from the author. So you obviously need to have the right permissions, but let me just click here. And you can see that it, it is showing that the uh, Excel file is being created. And now it shows that the Excel file is ready and available on OneDrive. And you can open the file directly from this environment. So let me just open it inside Excel for web. And within a few seconds, you would see that the file has been opened inside the Excel environment. And what you see here is something that a lot of people in excel are familiar with and that is playing around with the pivot table so here the we have the option to create pivot tables and what do we get so essentially we are getting whatever is there inside of, a, of our data model so the data model has all the tables and all the supporting tables and all the measures that were created so now you can just pull those in these fields and you can create whatever you want on the x in the excel environment so i am not going to go into this but the important thing is that you have the option to actually export the results and do the analysis not on the raw file but on the on the data model so so this is a capability that is very powerful especially for people who are used to doing the analysis inside the excel environment Similarly, if you are in the Power BI, if you're looking at the Power BI report and you come in the settings option here, the three dots, uh, then you, the first option that you see here is analyze in Excel. So let me just click on this option and let's see what kind of the, of uh, the option that we get. So I get the same exact option that I got for the data set. And again, I have the uh, open in Excel for the web um link here so i can just open it here or otherwise the file has been created on the onedrive and you can always access uh, access that excel sheet or excel file on the onedrive so this is how you can use the analyze in excel feature from either the power bi report or from the data set inside your workspace and perform analysis on your data model inside the excel environment through the use of pivot tables so that's all for this particular video and I'll catch up with you in the next one.